Welcome back. This is problem 14 of Warburg 3.7. And we have another um, improper integral here of x over x squared plus 3. In this one, I'll be proving how y, a, and d are the only um, viable options. Um, so using comparison tests, we'll compare x over x squared plus 3 with x over x squared for x greater than or equal to 1. Since x squared plus 3 is greater than x squared, we have x over x squared plus 3 less than x over x squared which this is just one over x, just letting y'all know. Okay, which means now we need to find the integral of this one to infinity, x over x squared dx is a p integral, um, where p is equal to one, because remember, it's equivalent to this, and we know, which is known to diverge for p less than or equal to um, one. Um, so we can calculate it, 1 to infinity, 1 over x dx is equal to uh, limit of t that goes to infinity of ln of x from 1 to t, which is just the limit as t goes into infinity of ln of t uh, minus ln of 1, which is 0. So I'll just ln of t, which is just infinity. Uh, therefore, from that, with comparison test, it diverges. Um, but I think a doesn't necessarily just wants to say that it's equal to infinity, which we proved. <clears throat> All right. And then now for d, um, we have to prove that this inequality holds true, which is definitely true. Um, we can easily see that just by um, writing down the steps. x squared plus 3, which is equivalent to x squared plus 3, plus and equal to x, x plus 3, which simplifies to x squared plus 3 less than equal to x squared plus 3x. Uh, subtracting um, x squares from either side, you just get 3 less than equal to 3x. So, oh, and then we just have 1 less than equal to uh, x, which is true. Um, that's perfect. So now the uh, convergence of the our integral here we already know to be infinity so and we can figure out just by using the integral from one to infinity one x plus three we know that diverges because that is just the equivalent to ln of x plus three <clears throat> which is just um from t to uh from 1 to t, which is just ln of t plus 3, and then a constant, which doesn't matter, but it'll just be ln of uh, 4. Um, but that will just diverge to um, infinity. So that must that means we know, therefore, the integral one to infinity of one over x plus three dx must diverge. And that is our answer to question 14.